Headlife Super Doppler 4 HD weather forecast. Headlife Super Doppler 4 HD showing things quiet in the upstate, but different story in northeastern Georgia and also in through western North Carolina. And these showers and thunderstorms continue to fire up and they continue to move off to the northeast at about 15 to 20 miles per hour. Uh, a warning now just north of a hickory, but there's been no warnings throughout our viewing area in the western Carolinas and northeastern Georgia. But some of these thunderstorms certainly uh, can pack uh, some very heavy rainfall, a lot of lightning, uh, some gusty winds, maybe 30 to 35 miles per hour, staying below severe limits, and maybe even some pea sized hail. So you can see some showers, some heavier showers now, uh, northwest of Asheville, about ready to move into Weaverville and just south of Marshall, also around Bakersville and Newland, some showers, some heavier showers there. Most of Cherokee County in the southwestern mountains, North Carolina, looking at some very heavy thunderstorms, also moving through Hayes in Clay County. And then through Rabin County, showed you these thunderstorms now beginning to move into the extreme northwestern part of uh, Oconee County, but the rest of us are very quiet across the upstate. A live shot from up on top of Paris Mountain. There's downtown Greenville there in the background. Just a couple of fluffy cumulus clouds, otherwise plenty of sunshine, and it is very warm outside. Official high today was 85 degrees at the GSP International Airport. That's exactly where it should be for this time of the year. Far from the record high on this date of 97 degrees, not too far back. Set back in the year 2000. 81 was the high this afternoon so far at the Asheville Regional Airport. Two degrees above the average and far from the record high of 94 degrees set way back. It's been around for a while since 1895. It's going to be around for at least one more year. 90 in Abbeville, 89 in Greenwood. Also in Hartwell, it's 85 in Greenville, 86 in Anderson. Upper, upper 70s currently in Hendersonville, but it's currently 75 degrees in Asheville. Very little wind to speak of. As you can see, humidity levels much higher in through the mountainous areas, more than the upstate. And it's 93 currently in Columbia. It's 72 in Savannah, cooled off by a thunderstorm, 89 degrees in Orlando, 79 in New Orleans. So here's Bonnie. Still, now it was the remains. Now it's a tropical depression again. And look at uh, Nags Heads. More heavy rain bands moving into the outer banks of North Carolina. It's this location about 40 miles east-northeast of Cape Hatteras, moving northeast. It's moving out to sea. In fact, there's a slight chance that Bonnie could re-intensify back to tropical storm status like this past weekend. But then it will weaken as it moves into cooler waters as it races off away from the United States during the day tomorrow. So this is 7 o'clock this evening. We have a very weak cold front approaching from the northwest. And as we go through this evening, some, maybe some thunderstorms firing up in the eastern part of the upstate. Very quiet weather with, associated with the front tomorrow morning. Then we get the afternoon heating and maybe a shower or thunderstorm around the area. But this front's going to wash out. Then we wait for a much stronger cold front to approach us on Sunday. Scattered evening showers and maybe a couple thunderstorms. Low temperature in the upper 60s. Very muggy conditions. Low 62. Better chance of rain in the mountains. Tomorrow in the Greenville Sparbrook Edison area, very warm, very humid. We could hit 90 degrees tomorrow, especially in the southern part of the upstate. Scattered showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon, only still only about a 30% chance, just like this evening. We'll start off at 75 degrees, quickly warming up into the mid 80s by lunchtime. In the Asheville Henderson area for tomorrow, scattered mainly afternoon and evening showers and thunderstorms. High temperature 81 degrees, a 50% chance of rain. 69 to start with, warming up quickly to 80 degrees at lunchtime. Four day plus looks like this. As we head into the weekend, so the best chance of showers and thunderstorms will be on Sunday associated with the front. Front goes by once it does. Plenty of sunshine and lower humidity. That's going to feel pretty good.